My name is Yehu Dabidi, I'm speaking to you from Jerusalem, the capital of Israel, and I'm speaking to you on behalf of Brit Am, Hebrew Nations, an organization that finds the lost ten tribes amongst Western nations. We've been uh, working at this, we've been involved with this subject uh, for most of our lives, in one way or another. And we have been uh, dedicated to it full time on the web for uh, up to 30 years, or more or less, you will take something. And uh, we've had our ups and downs, but we've been managed to promote the subject, to promote uh, interest in the subject, to answer questions about it, to uh, resonate with people who have already had calls in this direction concerning the Lost in Tribes, concerning the belief that they are descent from Lost in Tribes, or they descend from uh, Jews, from uh, lost Jews, uh, Jews who are assimilated or lost their identity in some way or other, or they're the, the descendants of Hebrews, Hebrews from the tribes of Israel. The tribes of Israel were originally 12 tribes of Israel. These were conquered, 10 of the tribes, the northern tribes were conquered by the Assyrians, taken into exile, and there they lost consciousness of their ancestry. And uh, they forgot who they were, as if to say, as did most peoples of the ancient world, but they remained together and they moved, moved to the west and their descendants are now to be found mostly amongst peoples of the west. That is where the Lost in Tribes are to be identified, that is where they are located according to the Bible. And we receive, we answer questions by people who are interested in this subject, who have a, an arousal in this direction and they think that we have answers to their questions and often we do and so this present talk is dedicated to the, uh, some of the the most uh, frequent questions that have come our way and uh, to the, the, the uh, phenomenon in general of people uh, being aroused or, of uh, feeling an awakening of what we may call the, the Israelite ancestry, a consciousness of the Israelite ancestry that they are descended from Hebrews Recently we had a phone call uh, from someone from Holland, a lady from Holland, which is called Jenny. And she had a series of questions and we answered these questions and uh, in effect we realized that, we, that these questions that we are answering, questions that we have answered many times over, they seem to be common to the people who, who, are, uh, who are interested, who have an interest in this, in this, uh, in this subject. And uh, Jenny and uh, members of her family feel a closeness to the Jews and, and to biblical consciousness. To they want to keep uh, uh, Christians, but they want to keep Hebrew customs. They want to identify as Israelites. They feel an identification with the, with ancient Hebrews, also with the present-day Jews. And they've had this feeling for as long as they can remember. But in recent years, it's grown stronger. Has intensified. And this phenomenon. We may call it Hebrew roots, an awakening towards Hebrew roots, and we think the significance of it is that um, it is uh, an answer to prophecy. It is prophesied that in the end times the lost uh, tribes and also descendants of Jews who were assimilated, in other words, Hebrews in general, will uh, arouse. Well, they will be aroused and they will want to come back and they will come back. And uh, a leader, we just call him Mashiach ben Yosef, the Messiah son of Joseph, he will lead the lost syndromes back. It's also a name of a phenomenon of awakening, of arousal, and they will come back and they will rejoin and reattach themselves to Judah, and uh, the nations of Israel will be one uh, nation once more, as, uh, as uh, explained in uh, Ezekiel 37. And uh, this is uh, this uh, awakening. In this direction is a sign, is, it is often by sensitive souls, people who are especially attuned to what is going on in the spiritual sense, and uh, they are as if feeling, they have a, a premonition that something is about to take place and, and their inner being is awakening, is answering, is responding to it. This is a sign of the coming Messianic era. And uh, she also... Uh, she mentioned that she has the grandparents who are with Jewish names, Israelite type names, uh, such as Dan or Hebrew, fair Jewish family names and so on, and uh, she asked, is there uh, anything uh, significant about this? Does it mean anything? So this is a common phenomenon. 
And uh, in effect, even though some would say that uh, to look for Jewish ancestry, it's one thing at the search for or to feel a, a, an attachment or belong to the lost ten tribes of Israel is something else. Because even though they are all both from the Hebrew nation, they historically they had different, uh, they developed along different lines. But this is not exactly the case because uh, indications are that in the end times when they return, when the lost end tribes return, that the Jews or descendants of assimilated Jews will come with them. And they may well be instrumental in, hell, in bringing them back and, and, in, and in promoting the arousal that will be needed to trigger this process. We have a Midrash, and Midrash says the ten tribes, of the exile, and then it goes on and it says that the exiles of Judah and Benjamin, that is the uh, Jews, people descend from Jews, they just need to go unto the ten tribes and bring them back in order to meet and marry with them the Messianic era and life in the world to come. As it says, in those days the house of Judah should go into the house of Israel, and they should come together out of the land of the north unto the land that I have given for an inheritance unto your fathers. Jeremiah 3.18 And the Midrash that we quoted is found several times in the sources, but the, this particular version that we quoted is from Yaku Simeoni, Song of Solomon, Shira Shirim, 905. And, uh, so the, and there are other sources, other sources uh, saying the same thing in the same direction. So therefore finding Israelite or Jewish ancestry is, uh, is a related subject, so our related subjects overlap with each other. And often uh, names, names, we find names, names may accrue to a person for all kinds of reasons. They have, uh, there's all kinds of uh, stories about people arriving in this island with uh, f foreign sounding names that the, uh, the welcoming uh, officials had trouble writing down, so they just gave them any name that came into their heads or any name that, uh, that they fancied. Well, for all different reasons, people get the names attached to them. Not necessarily because of these names reflect their ancestry, but, but, uh, first of all, the names do often, re usually, more often than not, they do reflect ancestry, and even when they don't, we have such a thing as divine providence. As divine providence, God rules the world. The one, the things don't know what happened by chance. There's a reason for everything, and if a certain name has been given to someone at a certain stage, that uh, was a reason for it, and it, it is worth uh, going through. It is, it's the lead. An informational lead worth following up on. And it does say something. Another question uh, was that we get asked is, uh, do DNA tests help? Should I take a DNA test if I feel in this way? Would it help me? And it may do so. It doesn't harm. It costs a bit of money. And you may get information out of it. Uh, DNA tests uh, should be followed up with the genealogical research. You have all kinds of, uh, uh, on the web, you have different uh, web pages dedicated to certain families or peoples from different regions. Also, you yeah, also have uh, informational uh, email, uh, email discussion lists on in specializing in certain areas and genealogy and DNA and so on. And, uh, and if you, and these are interesting and they do provide information. And uh, DNA tests can often tell you which families you are most likely related to at some stage or other. And, uh, they, and uh, this may, along with genealogical information, uh, give you a lead in finding out where your ancestry, your, in the, at least in recent generations, is, was to be found, or it may not, but it's a, it's a lead, it's, it's worth uh, going through with. Uh, but, uh, but remember that the results you get, they are personal, they are important to you, they're not necessarily important to others. For instance, you may fa find all kinds of information and DNA proof that somehow or other you are uh, related to the royal family, but the Queen of England may not think along the same lines, and she may not really care, and it is very unlikely that based on the strength of what you have discovered through your DNA tests and through writing to people and whatever else you have done, that the Queen is going to give you a knighthood or anything like that. So, the, like, I'm taking an, ex an extreme example, but uh, you can understand where I'm getting to. It's good for you, it's good for your research, it's good, it, 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 it's something. But don't take it too far, at least not at first. 
Another question we get if the Dionatus and the other researchers show me and convince me at least that I am of Jewish or of Israelite origin, will I be allowed to come to the land of Israel and live there? Will I have the same rights living there as, a, as a, someone who is Jewish? Or at least will they let me live there as a temporary resident? Or some other type of permanent status will it be given unto me? Can I come there? Uh, not not on a three month a tourist visa, but as something on a, on a permanent level. The answer is no, you can't. And uh, this is uh, the official, uh, this is the official uh, stand, this is the official position. We have nothing to do with it. We cannot influence one way or other. And you will not be able to use this information or this conviction that you will have or may attain uh, with the officials of Israel or neither or the officials of anyone else. The time is too early. Uh, more light needs to be thrown on the subject. We need more information, more research is needed. The research results that are already available and they become available need to be promoted. They need to have been brought to the attention of a great number of people. The public needs to be made more aware of it, especially the Israeli public, but also the public in, the, in Gentile nations, Western Gentile nations, those to whom, to whom the, the information is pertinent. And uh, this also is not necessarily the direction uh, that all of us should go in. At the beginning, we should uh, perhaps concentrate more on our own communities, more on our own nations, and the arousal that is predicted will take place in the end times when the ten tribes will come back, will rejoin with Judah. The impression is that they do this as nations, as national groupings, and they come back and as tribal units, and they conquer the land of Israel from the, from the Nile to the Euphrates, and at the, also at the beginning, as indicated in the book of Zechariah and Mecha, they come back to, to northern areas, they conquer Lebanon and Syria, and what is now Jordan, and they settle there. And only later do they reattach or rejoin themselves to Judah. So we, we, uh, we, this is what the Bible says, and this is a, this seems to be the logical process. The, logic, the logical proceeding of events will go along these lines. So I wouldn't get too optimistic about being able to come immediately to Israel based on uh, this type of information. But you never know. It can help. Everything can help. And uh, so uh, each person has to make his own decision and to find their own way in certain areas. And we, we, we should also know, another point to mention is that coming to Israel in the, is uh, connected with keeping the Bible, keeping the biblical laws. If you should come to Israel, you should keep the biblical laws. Psalms 111, it says, He has shown His people the power of His works to give them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hand are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. We have to keep the law, especially if we want to live in the land of Israel. Keeping the law means keeping the Jewish law as the Jews, the sages of the Jewish people have understood it. This was given to, to Judah. See Genesis, uh, the book of Genesis 49 and related passages and articles on this. And... Uh, so, too, this, uh, this is something that needs to be taken into consideration. So then you ask, and it asks, what should we do? If we're not coming to Israel based on this information, uh, what, what are we to do? So the answer is, uh, each person, as we said, has to find his own way, his own pathway. In general, one should study the Bible, should pray to God, take an interest in the Ten Tribes. And the studies of Hebrew nations, our studies, the studies of our organization concerning them, uh, support us because we are doing something in this area. We're doing something to promote uh, interest in, in this subject and doing something about it. We should be uh, encouraged and supported and helped to do so. And all of us uh, should uh, concentrate on making others aware uh, of, of, of this knowledge in our own circle, in our own community, and also being good people, doing what God Almighty wants us to do. That is, that is the most important thing. Everyone has to find what God wants him to do, to, to find what his or her own individual role should be in, in, in this life. And we all have our own individuality that we need to fulfill. So uh, 
The final question is, what is the role of Hebrew nations, Brit Am in all this? What is the role of our own organization? So as we said, our job is to research the whereabouts of lost and tribes of Israel. And we have found them in the West, and we need to promote, to uh, bring to, re to uh, the awareness of the public to report uh, the findings of our research. And we also have to work, or are, do work, towards reconciliation between Judah and the Ten Tribes of Israel. Those are three hours of our organization, research, report, and uh, reconciliation. And we all can come through, we all can succeed, we all can do what we have to do, and the Lord God of Israel will bless and guide all of us. Thank you.